Phoenix, Arizona. Good morning. I was saying good morning. What I said it was good morning, everybody. Um, on this day we call Saturday. Um, my Indian name is Nakali. That's what I call myself on air. When I'm on air, I am the morning man for Yakima Nation Radio in Toppenish, Washington. With the Yakima Nation. And I'm here to try to get more people interested in um, um, spreading the, their language, whatever language they speak on, on air. So make us, uh, that's how we say we are re unique to everyone else. So, and I'm glad to be here in Phoenix, Arizona for the Naja Conference, 30th annual, which is pretty good. So, so what have uh, you learned so far about what's new in, in the field of journalism? You know, well, I just learned um, today about uh, combining video and audio to, for broadcasts such as mine. Uh, what I do, I am a morning, morning DJ. I go on the air from 6 a.m. to 9.30, and now the, this, there was this panel that talked about combining video and audio, even though we can't see it, but they would, they would have a vid, make a video showing of what they were doing and who was doing it and why. And I thought that was pretty neat. Because we have a program started back home um, about two and a half years ago with youth with the, at our tribal library. They have a video club. They're start, that, what they were talking about is the same thing what they're, what they're starting to learn now. And I take that information back to them to where they can go get the training, the, the expert training to, do, to fine tune what they're doing. And it's, it's pretty good, so I like it. So tell us how you got started in your job. Well, um, before the tribe bought the radio station, uh, it was the only one locally within, we have five towns. So there's five different schools. And when that radio station uh, went Hispanic, then it shut down, then the tribe bought it, and there was nobody to do uh, high school sports. So I approached the manager and I asked him, what about um, if I can get on? He says, well, you find a partner to work with you, you guys will be on the air next week. <laughs> it didn't take, it only took me two days to find somebody and to do a play with a play. I do the stats. I, I record all the stats and when it's time, break time, I read off the numbers and everything. And I've been doing it, uh, high school basketball for 12 years, football for six years, oh, seven years. And now I'm getting into webcast. I'm doing webcast basketball for the last three years. So, so what do you mean webcast? Are, are you actually showing the video? Of yeah, the, the video and the audio combined. And that goes over the internet through a, a website, that our own website we have at the school I graduated from. It's a Granger and we got it set up to where the alumni, whoever wants to watch our webcast can and watch the game. So if they got relatives playing or something like that. So okay, tell us about your tribe. Well, you know, what describe your, your reservation and your your, your, uh, your businesses there. Our entities, our tribal entities. We have uh, Yakima Forest Products. They, that's where they take in some of the lumber that is brought down from our closed area. Then we have um, a tobacco company. A, a tribal member owns a cigarette company and makes his own cigarettes. And um, what else do we have? Uh, we have uh, an enterprise called we call Land Enterprise, yes. that where they buy orchards and take care of other tribal lands, and they we grow we grow our own produce, and it's it's that's one of the biggest. We're right in the mid, right in the south. Central of Washington State, right in the kind of right, almost right in the middle, but we're right on the bottom of the, we're next to the Oregon border, and uh, we're like about 
<laughs> we're, like, we're like about 60 miles from the Oregon border, but uh, that's with our seated area included, we go from the Oregon border clear on almost to the top of the Washington state. Well, right now, as I understand it, is our, it's our casino. We have a, our own tribal casino called Legends Casino. They got over 400, uh, 400, I think it was 35 at the last count, tribal members. The next would be Land Enterprise. They got over 200 people. That's where they take care of their fruit and other stuff. And, and so what's been the impact of the radio station to your tribe? Really good. That the, we're, we're, we, there's three live DJs. We're on air at least eight hours a day, but <laughs> not this week because two of us are here. But uh, we, we try to get the news out to, to whatever our tribal government need, needs the people to know. We'll put that word out. If there's like a, like a diabetes program is having something, we'll, we'll advertise that. Or if there's a big uh, council meeting that they need to attend, we'll, we'll put the word out for that and have people go. And, but mainly we just kind of try to focus on native music, native artist. And, uh, that's one of my one of my big projects that I do is on Mondays on my show I play power music, strictly power music only. On Tuesdays I play contemporary Native American music, then Thursday, Friday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday it's request day, but I I try to stick to native artists from all over the country. So because they have a hard time getting their music out there and I'm kind of like a music promoter myself and so I try to help them out best I can and let everybody be aware of who's out there. Well, so what are some of the artists that people should be aware of? There? Well, just like there's one here, um, just right here in uh, not too far away, we're going to hear tonight, Smokestack Lightning. Then there's a group here from Phoenix called da uh, Dawa, Jackson Harris. Then we have um, and there's the, then you got the native hip hop people. Uh, I have my friend from Oregon, he's here. Uh, Brutus Baez, AKA Big B. And my coworker, he is a, he is a NAMI award winner for best hip hop, uh, Ryan Craig, AKA Riz Hogs. You can look him up on the internet or Facebook, just type in uh, Riz Hogs. And then we do a lot of, I do a lot of major artists from Canada, Derek Miller, um, Tracy Bone, Eagle and Hawk, Indian City, Leanne Goose, and there's there's quite a few. So, but. And and those those artists that you mentioned, what's their their? Uh, uh, I mean, are they rock bands? Well, uh, that's what I do. Uh, well, I try to combine out everything. It looks like um, Eagle and Hawk and Indian City. They're both rock. Leanne Goose is country. Um, what else do we have? Uh, there's a guy out of, I can't remember where he's from, Tony Duncan, he does the flute. He is a NAMI Artist of the Year. And, uh, and I was getting in the, I do, this, this, this last couple of months I've just been focusing on country because there's a lot of female country. There's Ali Fontaine from uh, Winnipeg, Tracy Bone, Leanne Goose, and, there are big names right now that's really, they're hitting the big charts in Canada, but they, nobody heard about it down here. So I try to do my best to let everybody know that what they sing. Just like Smokestack Lightning, they were for best rock in, the, they were over there. That's where I met them is Buffalo, New York, but they're from here, from Coolidge. So, and I'll listen to those guys tonight. What's uh, any new things coming up for your station that you're looking on uh, either adding or improving? Well, we're going to try and improve on our, our language. We have sessions. I start, I start out during the school year. Uh, we have couple, three different language teachers that uh, they, they'll say the word or the saying in, in our language, then they'll, then they'll interpret and say it in English. And I do like little two to three minute spots to every day, every hour, so everybody won't hear it. Then now, since it's summertime, we moved it to just, we do one word. 
and that's during the noon show with my my coworker. But we're trying to improve on getting our language more heard throughout uh, our radio people that that he listen to us. So. So how is the language in, in your? It's in your it's slowly growing now. It's it's it was kind of just certain few that uh, understood and was fluent in our language. But now, with the help of, with me, because I understand and I can, I don't talk fully, but I understand and I can speak it to a point to where everybody understands me. And if I can get the younger people behind me, to coming up behind me, to pick it up too, just like me, well, they'll be recognized as a, when I say a big dignitary, because well, he speaks his language, and yeah, it's cool. So. <laughs> Do you ever interview some of your elders in your language on your station? Um, I've we've talked on the air when when they came in, and uh, they'll say, well, they when they come into our studio. They'll